Ali Madat, Madat Yaosan. My name is Zen Labdin and I'm from the UK, London. I'm 17 years of age and Alhamdulillah, this is my first time in Karbala and I just feel blessed to be in this sacred land. And to be mourning in a land where the pain and suffering of the El Al Bayt happened and <clears throat> to the brothers and sisters at home who haven't had the chance of coming to Karbala yet any chance that you get I urge you to take it because it is the experience of a lifetime and inshallah may Allah give me give all of us Shia Mahumin and bless us with the chance of coming again, inshallah. Since I've been here, alhamdulillah, the Ayl al the salam have given me the strength to go out and mourn for Mullah Hussain alayhi salam and the whole of the Ayl al each night, taking part in different pursi <clears throat> and also things that possibly don't happen in the UK, for example, joining in with Iranian Pursi and different Matams, Matamdaris and Alhamdulillah, I feel privileged to be able to do that in Karbala and I mean Alhamdulillah <clears throat> I've been given the strength to be able to keep praying as I do in the UK in the holy shrines of Mawla Abbas salam, and Mawla Hussain salam and visiting all the maqams and listening to masaibs is just it's just overwhelming the experience that one undergoes when coming to Karbala and inshallah everyone will experience that one day seeing I mean many processions I have witnessed that go, go on in the streets of Karbala but the ones that have touched me the most have been the little Masum children who have even been taking part in these processions and to show, to actually witness the, the amount of things that the, the rituals that the children go through is amazing as I mean someone so young feels the pain of Mawla Hussain alayhi salam and Alhamdulillah can show their way of mourning for Mullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Labbaik ya Hussein. Uh, my name is Imtiaz Karmali. I reside in uh, London in the UK, where I've been there for the last 15 years of my life. Um, I immigrated with my family from uh, Kenya. Um, the rituals and, and, and practices of Muharram um, have been part of my life from the day I was born. Um, my father and my mother, I've got uh, two older brothers and a sister and that, that part of Muharram and Ashura day has just been an amazing part and parcel of every single year of my life. Um, I was brought up 
um, you know, on the day of Ashura to, to hit myself with blades and, and, and draw blood from my body, um, but never actually explained as to why we did what we did at a young age. It was just exposed to me. Um, and Alhamdulillah, this was probably the best thing that could have ever happened to me because um, growing up in the West, people are so shocked with blood and, and drawing of, of, of blood from the body on, on the day of Ashura. Whereas for me, it's, it's part and parcel of my life. Um, but growing up, you know, from the ages of 14 to 20, um, I came across a lot of Muslims that asked a lot of questions as to why we practice in these ways and what we do and who is Hussein. Um, and Alhamdulillah, these years were amazing and integral to my understanding as to why I am a, a Muslim and what I believe in. Um, you know, the one thing that, that I hope I can take away from, from my life is that I am part of Bibi Fatima Ali Salam's dua of, you know, the remembrance of her son's tragedy, Ya Hussein. Um, I've been to Karbala now for three years in a row. Um, I came in uh, 2010 for the first time um, with a group of boys that, that I've known for maybe five or six years of my life. Um, and prior to that, my ziyarat every year was to Bibi Zainab alayhi salam. Um, but unfortunately, the doors were closed um, to go and see Bibi. And therefore, um, we were blessed to then come and spend our first Ashura in Karbala. Um, there's no looking back. You know, I could not ask for a better dua than to come to, to Karbala on the day of Ashura. I mean, I particularly don't know what I've done in my life to deserve this amazing, amazing reward that Allah has given me. Um, I am one of the only people in my whole extended family that has actually been given the honor uh, to come to Karbala and visit uh, Sayyid al-Shuhada salam and Hazrat Abbas salam. Um, you know, I, I constantly listen to poetry from, um, from Maulana Basim and a number of other youths in the UK as well. And one thing that always hits me is the angels leave their ranks in heaven to come and do the ziyarat of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. And we come to Karbala, we come to Bain al Haramain, and we go to the, to, to the grave of Imam Hussain alayhi salam, and we're shrugging shoulders with angels. Um, there is no way of feeling that you can have to be part of such an amazing reward of being able to visit the Qubba and, and the grave of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Um, Every single year, this is the one trip that I look forward to. I save my money and I put aside as soon as I can to be able to come and see Imam Hussain alayhi salam and to be able to crawl to the grave of Hazrat Abbas alayhi salam and give my condolences that he was not able to shelter or to give clothing to Bibi Zainab, Bibi Zainab alayhi salam as she walked through the bazaar of Sham. My message to the brothers and sisters that have not travelled to Karbala is yet is that travel to Karbala and stand in Bainul Haramain. Send your salams to Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Because when you in, inshallah reach the confines of heaven, at least you will be you you will have some some achievement, you will have some identity when you see Bainul Haramain in the confines of paradise. Um, this place has inspired me to do a lot of things in my life and one of those just being able to recite Ziyat Ashura and actually understand the meaning of it and come and be able to stand in front of Imam Hussain alayhi salam and recite that Ziyat every single day that I am present. Um, you know, Ziyarat, Makkah, Medina, everything is in your heart. You know, your Allah is closer to you than your jugular vein but when you come to Karbala, there is a, there's just a different feeling. There's just a different energy that oozes out of your nafs. Um, and just being part of some of the, the rituals that go on here and the energy, and as I said earlier, you know, the ranks, the ranks of angels that descend on Karbala and on, on, on the grave of Imam Hussain alayhi salam every single day, they find themselves honored to leave the ranks they have in, 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 in heaven to come down and, and, and seek and give their allegiance to Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Imagine who we are. We are fallible human beings that sin on a day-to-day -day basis, whilst heaven, the angels from heavens come down and give their salams. So be part of this ritual, be part of this energy, and I promise you that there is a multitude and multiple amount of energy 
and purification you will be able to take from this land. Mm -hmm.